We thank you, precious Redeemer, because it is by you we are going to see that you alone is the Lamb that was made. Father, we bless you, Father, for this clear day you have given to us to come to you, Father. Father, we appreciate you, Father, for your faithfulness. We appreciate you for your kindness. We appreciate you for your love. We appreciate you because you are the final say in our life. Merciful and righteous daddy, we say thank you this morning because of your great love, my father, to us. Mighty God of Israel, we want to say thank you because it is by your mercy we have not consumed. It is by your mercy we are who we are this morning. It is by your mercy, O oh Lord, we have gathered. Holy Spirit, here we are in your presence, Lord. Father, in your presence there are fullness of joy. In your presence there are mercy. In your presence there are kindness. In your presence, O oh Lord, my Father, in glory, in there is love. In your presence, O oh Lord, my Father, in glory, there is all kinds of manners of a gift, O oh Lord, my Father. Father, we have come in your presence, Lord. Father, take absolute control upon our life. Father, have your way this morning because you are faithful, Lord. Let your will be done, my Father, in glory, because you are worthy, Lord. Amen. What is it that somebody has said against you? What is it that men have said, said against you? What is that situation that is speaking against you? Open your mouth this morning and thank the Lord and give God thanks. When you give him thanks, he will do things on your behalf. He will do things that men cannot do. He will do things that you cannot do. Just for us to give God thanks. Lord, we Father, worship, worship you this Lord. morning. For your faithfulness, we thank you, you, Holy Spirit. Lord, we thank you because you are the I am that I am. Father, we thank you because your ways are not the ways of men. Father, we thank you this morning for everything you have been doing for us. Daddy, we thank you, Father, in glory, because it is by your mercy we are gathered this morning. Father, we thank you because you are our Savior. We thank you because you are merciful, God. Father, we thank you, O Lord, because your ways are not the ways of men. Father, I pray this morning, O Lord, every ugly situation in the life of your children, Father, I make a decree this morning that every ugly situation must disappear in the name of Jesus. Father, I pray this morning that you will frustrate all the forces of darkness fighting against your children day and night. Lord, you will frustrate all of them and bring them to nothing in the name of Jesus. Holy Ghost, have your way, my Father, this morning, because your ways are not the ways of men. Holy Ghost, have your way, Emilius God. Father, you that seated upon the throne, my Father, in glory that no man can challenge you. Lord, you challenge every circumstance, every situation. Father, I pray, my Father, that every ugly situation in the life of your children this morning, Father, in glory, is the ugly situation of sickness, is the of the situation of disappointment is the ugly situation of frustration. Father, I command those ugly situations right now to be useless, O Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, we give thanks. Amen. My beloved brethren, there might be problems, there might be situations that is speaking against you. And that situation where you remember it, you don't have that courage. You don't have that mind to worship God. It is like that. But once you say to that situation, I know my Redeemer lived it. I want us to learn from the story of Job. The Bible says, when I was reading that place, I said, oh God, give me the grace. Give me this grace. The Bible says, Job lost everything. He lost everything one day, the same day, not another day, the same day. He lost his house, he lost his wife, he lost his children, he lost his money, his wealth, everything that he has, his servants, everything. Job lost everything. In one day, he lost his eggs. Everything. 
lost them all in just one day. Indeed, yeah. But what surprised me about the story of Job, the Bible says, after Job heard of all those things, he said, Job rendered his garments. He tear off his garments. He rendered his garments. He put on ashes. Mm -hmm. And he did what? What did he do next? The Bible oh, says, Job God. went to fall on the floor and begin to worship God. Yes, Job begin to worship yes, God. He said that God, the Lord giveth, the Lord taketh. He yes. begin to worship God. He said, naked I came yes, into this world. Naked I will return into this world. My beloved brethren, why don't you open your mouth this morning? Father, the devil might have done something you against you. And that thing when you remember it, you don't want to worship God. You don't have that grace, that power Father, to worship God. What's the thing this morning? What's the thing? Who is asking prayer for us? Daughter, I know your Father, I know glory. You know about that situation where Father have come back I have for long. I know you Father, I come against the sickness that have been combating the life of your daughter this morning. Father, all this ugly situation that wants to weigh the family down. I command you all your sickness right now. The Lord is against you. Lord God of Israel, I pray you will have mercy sin upon my family. Father, I am asking you this morning, let there be supernatural power, Lord, to take away every sin that I've come back in the body. Right now, as I step my hand, Father, let there be your instant miracle, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Father, you have been doing it, you will do it much more in this time. Holy Ghost, I pray for instant miracle. Daddy, I pray for supernatural Miracle. Lord, I pray, Father, in glory, that your fullness and mercy, O oh Lord, my Father, will look at your daughter, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, I pray this morning, O oh Lord, for all your children that are joining this program on Facebook and so where your children have connected this morning. Father, you are in miracle. Lord, go ahead and do your work, Lord. Amen. Lastly, we are going to pray. Lastly, we are going to tell the Lord, the Bible says, God breathed into man, and man became a living soul. Remember, man was made from the dust. Man was made from the ground, from head. But once God breathed into man, that was when man became a living being. That was when man can talk, man can move, man can do all sorts of things. Because of the breath of Christ in man, you are going to pray and tell the Lord, that God has made you, he has created you. He has given you life. The life that came from God. It is the breath of God. Sometimes I begin to imagine. I was just reasoning it one day. I said, so God, he bread. He opened his mouth and bread Ooh, inside my nose. And I became a living being. So I am living the particles of the Spirit of God is inside of me. The power of God, the breath of God is inside of me because He breathed into me. Let me see. I'm carrying part of God inside of me. I was just reasoning it, my beloved brethren. You are going to tell the Lord, Father, you gave me life, you created me. The purpose why you created me on earth. Each and everybody has a purpose. Everybody on earth, from great to small, they have purpose. You are going to tell the Lord the purpose that when God created you and brought you into this world, let you come to pass. That your destiny will not be cut short. Your purpose will not be cut short. You will fulfill your destiny. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Oh, begin to pray. Father, Every power God. that wants to hinder your destiny. Father, you alone is the owner of my life. My father, you father to I will fulfill Lord. my destiny, O Lord, my I Father, in glory. Father, every power, O oh Lord, my Father, in glory, that went to frustrate my destiny, O oh Lord, my Father, that went to frustrate the purpose, O oh Lord, of my life, my Father, in glory. Father, let that power be judged, O oh Lord, my Father, in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit of the Lord, you the Lord is the owner of my life. Every power that went to hinder the purpose of your children, Father, you will frustrate those power in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, I pray this morning, O oh Lord, my Father, that your Spirit divine, O oh Lord, my Father, will shine over us in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen.
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. This morning we are going to pray for every source that God has given to us on this program. None of them will go to hell. Every source on this program, every man or woman that have been a part of Good Morning Church Family Foundation, I love what we are doing, love the message, not just to love the message, all the people that have been supporting us all over the world, that none of them will go to hell, that the hand of the Lord will rest upon all of them. God will bring salvation upon all of them, that God will arrest them, that none of us will go to hell, even me that is talking to you. Brothers and sisters, because Satan have Satan have Satan is really working hard to make sure that you and I, you and I did not go to heaven. Satan is working hard, but we are going to pray every agreement of hell we disagree. That is the reason why most of people today they don't want to hear the truth. What they want to hear is all those message, message of chipa chico. But God, so kind, He raised us on this such a time like this. Let's begin to pray and tell the Lord to frustrate all the agreement of hell, every power that want to drag you to hell, every power that want to frustrate us, every power that want to stand that say no, that the gospel will not be preached all over the world. Power that are fighting against the truth in the church. Power that are fighting against the unity in the church. Power that are fighting against marriage because Satan is working so hard to make sure he scatter who he scatter you and I. Let's begin to pray and tell the Lord to frustrate all the agreement of hell. Brothers and sisters, you can cry this morning and tell God, I refuse to go to hell. Hell will not be my portion. Hell will not be the portion of my mother. Lord, you will arrest my mother. You will arrest my father. You will arrest every member of my family. Eternal Father, invisible God, the only wise God, the one that ruled the world, the one that have the final say. That is, I dedicate my life. I dedicate the life of your children into your evil hand, Father. Lord, every agreement of hell, my Father, in glory will disagree. Father, it will not stand, neither it will come to pass. Father, I refuse to go to hell. Every member of this group, my Father, in glory, they are in your hand. Holy Spirit, I am praying this morning, O oh Lord, my Father, that your goodness and mercy, O oh Lord, my Father, in glory, shall locate all. Every agreement of hell, every power that wants to send us to hell, my Father, fighting against us day and night. Father, you will frustrate such power in the name of Jesus. Every agreement of immorality, every agreement of frustration, every agreement, oh Lord, my Father, that want to drag us to hell. Father, I refuse to go to hell because you didn't create hell for mankind. Therefore, Father, all the Jezebel kingdom fighting against the church, fighting against the unity of good Mojo family foundation, fighting against your children not to live a holy life, my Father. Lord, I disagree with them, my father, in glory. All their plans, my father, you will frustrate them, you will bring them to nothing in the name of Jesus. Father, all those that have been listening to our messages on Facebook, on YouTube, my father, or every social media, father, even all those that are connected this morning all over the world. Lord, I pray, my father, every agreement of sin, my father, that Satan have agreed. Father, is it anger? Is it provocation? Is it talkative? Is it envy? Is it all for Forgiveness, Father, is he lost of eye? Father, is he, oh Lord, my Father, in glory? It doesn't matter those gospel, my Father. Lord, I disagree, my Father, in glory. Lord, I disagree this morning. Father, those gospel, my Father, in glory. You will frustrate every agreement of the devil, my Father, concerning my life. Concerning the life of your children, Father, you will destroy all of them. Father, none of them will stand, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Lord, arise, Lord, and frustrate all the plans of the enemy that he arise this morning and hold them to shame, Lord. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Finally, pray this morning. 
Lord, my going out, my coming in is in your hand. Begin to talk to God. Lord, today will not be a sorrowful day. Lord, I cancel every evil agreement. Lord, I cancel every evil news. Lord, I cancel every agreement of accident. Lord, I shall not die, but I will live to testify the goodness of the Lord. Begin to dedicate Good Morning Job Family Foundation into the hands of God. That Good Morning Job Family Foundation will stand. And no gate of hell will prevail. That we must rise and shine. That the goodness of God will go with us. The Good Morning Job Family Foundation, all our projects, God will bring into power. That God will bring souls to us all over the world. That through this program, souls will be with all over the world. Thank you, Father. Father in glory. You alone is our Father. You alone is our Comforter. You alone is the owner of our soul. You alone is the one that have the final say. Father, every members of this group, my Father in glory, they are going out, they are coming in. Father, is in your hands. Father, you know all the ugly situation of the enemy in their life. Father, I pray that every ugly situation must bow. Father, I pray this morning our going out, our coming in, as they shall not kill us. Father, we will not die, but we will live to testify your goodness. Holy Ghost, I ask you, Jesus of Nazareth, go ahead, my Father, in glory, and let your name alone be glorified. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we want to appreciate you this morning. We are calling on you this morning to come and speak to us in a language we understand. Father, we have gathered this morning, we need your word. That without you, we have no life. But with you, we have life. That is, I pray for every member of this group that every agreement of hell we disagree. Every agreement of sin we disagree. Father, it will not stand, neither it will come to pass. Father, hold us with your right hand. Father, keep us going and keep us moving. Lord, protect us from the hands of the evil one. As many those that will still listen to this message often and often, that your goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. In the name of Jesus, the Lord is our shepherd, we shall not want. Father, your children shall not lack as they have decided to follow you. Holy Ghost, go with them. In the name of Jesus, blessed be the Holy the Lord. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. This morning, you are all welcome in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Um, before we continue now, I want us to listen to testimony for our sister Sonia to share with us what God has done for her. Um, please, let there be no noise, please. Sister Sonia, are you there? Yes, sir. Good morning. Good morning, everybody. Yes, God bless you. Please go ahead with your testimony. family I want to thank him for the love that he has been showering on me well my testimony goes like this uh, since last week I've been having some uh, uh, some uh, health uh, problem like headache and uh, waist pain so uh, I was uh, Taking drugs, 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 drugs. The headache refused to go. So the thing was like something I don't understand. Normally, if, I, if I'm having a headache, I take the drugs, it will, it will disappear. I mean, I will repair myself and, and continue my, my daily movement. But on, some days ago, it did occur again. But the drugs could not be able to take it off of me. So just, uh, I believe, three days ago, I called our brother. Then uh, when, he, when I called him, I wanted to tell him that I went to pay my tithe. 
So he was telling me that he was not hearing my voice. Uh, then I said, I was trying to raise up my voice. Even through this headache, I was not having strength at all. My strength was failing me. I did not even understand what was going on. So when he heard me, he told me what is happening. That uh, if I'm not happy, I said, no, I'm happy. Just that my voice could not go above this. So I explained to him, I told him that I'll be having the headache that is three, that, that is three days from the day I called him. So he told me to, I explained everything, why the headache was a call, but I don't understand why I'm not having strength. He asked me if I'm thinking, then I said, I don't really know, but maybe it's possible because of some situation I'm passing through. So he told me to relax my mind. Even when he was talking to me, even the voice was sounding on my head that I couldn't even open my eye to own light. If I own light, light it was like my eyes want to fall down on it. But I was still managing myself. And he asked me to kneel down and uh, he prayed. Asked me to relax my mind that God is in control. So I, he prayed for me that three days ago. Uh, after he prayed for me, in my mind, I was say, God, I received this prayer with my faith because the, the way I was really feeling, I was even thinking, I said, after this prayer, I, may, I have to call my working people. Maybe I will tell them that I cannot be able to come to work. So he prayed for me and he told me to go and add some salt into, into the water and drink it immediately and try to relax myself. I said, okay. He immediately he dropped the call. I stood up where I was kneeling down. I sit, I sat down and the, the next thing I feel sweat. I was feeling sweat before. I was putting all many clothes on my body because I was feeling cold, but I was not having fever. And the sweat immediately. Immediately, I regain. I don't know. It was just like the. I immediately he dropped the call. The headache disappeared. Like I regained myself in a in a way that I cannot even explain. I stood up. I entered. The I was just singing. It, 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 maybe if somebody that saw me that four days ago, if you see me, you say, ah, yeah, is that is that how you your things goes? Like today, like the minute you are like this, a minute you are like that. You, you regain yourself again. It was just a magic. So I regained myself, and I, even before that one thirty, I was saying that I will call them to tell them that I cannot make it. I I I went back to work. I get to work. I was just like normal. I work normally. Sweat take me. Even the strength I was feeling, the, the, the strength I was feeling me. I regained everything. It was just like a, a instant miracle. <laughs> Even when I came back, my husband was say, "How are you?" I said, "I'm fine." No, in fact, he was looking at me like, "Are you really sure you are the one?" I said, "Yes, I'm the one." So I just want to thank God for His mercy for using His son to 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 do His work, to do His truly, to speak the truth. And uh, and and when He prayed, at least when you believe that prayer, you believe that yes, the Lord will do it. He will do it immediately. So I just want to thank God for His mercy. No? Amen. Our God, the Reginam God, our God, the Reginam God, our God, the Reginam God, the Reginam God, our God, the Reginam, our God, the Reginam God. Our God, the Regina God, our God, the Regina, our God, the Regina God, the Regina God, the Regina God, the Regina God. My beloved brothers and sisters, you have heard the testimony of our sister. That the God that will be in with us on, on this program of Good Morning Jesus Family Foundation is original God. Is a God that can do undo. Anything that is not possible with people is possible before God. 
God have made it possible that he is a miracle worker. That he can do anything at any time. I tell you, it is not me that is doing it. Do you understand that? My all is to make a decree. The, his work is to bring it to pass. For people, I told you, if you can remember, I said that God, there will be metamorphosed testimony that will metamorphose people to run to Jesus. There will be things, strange things. People will begin to imagine how it happen. Because God is still on the truth. Everything is what is possible. Testimony upon testimony are coming. We finish our 30 days fasting and prayer. You watch and see. Testimony will come. People that are obeying the word of God. People that are obeying it. The sister told, he calls me that uh, she went to go and she paid her tithe. I say, glory be to God. Therefore, you must receive the blessing so that you will know what is going on. Obeying the truth, obeying the word of God pays. But as long as you have decided not to obey the truth, people begin to face trouble of life. But those that are obeying, you begin to enjoy. You begin to smile. You see, every day by day, anytime that I wake up, I am dancing, I am bouncing in the Lord. You will begin to bounce. Yeah, as long as you have decided to keep in into the project of God. Good Morning Job Family Foundation is a project God has raised this time to spread the truth all over the world. That the heart of a king, Aloysius, will be, will be rejoiced because God has given his children different kinds of wisdom to go out there, bring his souls back home. That heaven will rejoice that yes, this is the project of God. I pray that testimony will never cease in your mouth. I pray God of heaven will trouble them that are troubling you. And I pray God will reach those people that rejoice with you this morning. Heaven will rejoice with them. God will give them their testimony. In the name of Jesus. And I pray that God of Israel who knows the secret of every woman being. That as many of you on this program that are saying, Lord, I surrender unto you. I follow you. Day and night, you decided to live a holy life, even though I am not seeing you or I am seeing you. I tell you, God will catapult you to another level. Another level that will make the work to say, Please show us your God you are serving. That is it. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Turn with me in the book of um, Matthew. The book of Matthew, let's rush to the book of Matthew. Let's rush. Each time you receive the testimony, always endeavor to share the testimony all over the world that the people will know that God is still working in a mysterious way. In Matthew chapter 24, we we'll take you from verse 2, verse 2 to 28. Are we there without wasting our time? Let's go ahead, if you are there, Sister Rita. Matthew 24, verse 2 to 28. And Jesus says unto them, See ye not all these things? Verily I say unto you, They shall not be left here one stone upon another, that that shall not be thrown down. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, please hold on there. Please oh, just hold on there. Please, are we all in a, with our Bible now? Yes, sir. yes, sir. Please, everybody, open your Bible on this program. The people that moved their phone, have you opened your Bible? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay. Please, open your Bible. It is compulsory when we are reading our Bible. You open your Bible, especially on this crucial message, please. Sister, go ahead in that chapter 3. Stop it again. Where? Which... Matthew ch chapter 24. We are reading from verse 2 to 28. Now we are in verse 3. Go ahead, sister. Verse 3. And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciple came unto him privately, saying, Tell us, 
When shall this be? When shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? And Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all for all these things must come to pass, but the end is not yet. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and the families and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. All these all these are the beginning of sorrows. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations, for my name's sake. And then shall many be offended, and shall betray one another, and shall hate one another. And many false prophets shall rise, and shall deceive many. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall was cold. But he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations, and then shall the end come. When ye therefore shall see the abomination of desolation, spoken of by Daniel the prophet, stand in the holy place, whoso read it, let him understand. Then let them which be in Judea flee into the mountains. Let him which is on a house top not come down to take anything out of his house. Neither let him which is in the field return home to take his clothes. And where unto them that are with child, and to them that give suck in the place. But pray ye that your fly be not in the winter, neither on the Sabbath day. For there shall be great tribulation, such as was not since the beginning of the world, to this time, no, nor ever shall be. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the sake, but for the elect sake, those days shall be shortened. Then, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or yes. Believe it not, for there shall arise false Christ and false prophets, and shall show great signs and wonders, in so much that if it were possible, they shall deceive the very elect. Behold, I have told you before. Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not first. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east, and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. For whose, for wheresoever the carcass is, there will, be, there will the eagles be gathered together. God bless Amen. you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The topic says. If the topic said, if any man shall say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. That is a topic. If any man shall tell you, here, say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. You be a part of this group. You be a part of the place of truth by this. Then somebody will now come and begin to tell you this group is no longer preaching the truth. Believe it not. Why? Because the Spirit of God, by the moment you gave your life to Christ, the Spirit of God is now in you. As the Spirit of God is now in you, the devil will be using many things to try to distract you 
trying to make sure that he pull you out of the program of God. But believe it not. Believe them what not. Because there are many deceivers today all over the world. Many antichrist. Many people that God have not called. They call Jesus. Now they are going about to deceive people. They want to deceive the very elect. The ones that gave their life to Christ. They want to say confusion. They want to tell you all paravention. Somebody who invites you to this group. After the person have invited you, you gave your life to Christ. And tomorrow the person will begin to tell you now, pull out of that group. Come, we have another group. Believe it not. Do you understand what I said? Believe it not. That the Antichrist want to use that person to deceive you. Because... The Bible said, taste all spirit, whether they are from what? They are from God. Now, you be on this program for long, you will know what we are preaching. Talking about, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Go and check all the messages of Christ. The, all the message of Jesus Christ. The gospel of Christ, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. After repentance, Jesus will not heal the people. But today, what are we seeing in the churches? What are we seeing in the churches today? No more repentance. No more be converted anymore. What are they preaching today? Come. Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, they are, God is telling you, look at a, look at a verse uh, in, in verse uh, 26. He said, Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in, in, in the desert. Go not forth. Go there not. Maybe they tell you right now, it's not longer here now. We are not having that side. Please believe them not. Because the gospel of Christ is true. Now all, they will not say, Behold, he is in the secret chamber. Believe it not. They will not tell you, it's no longer on this group. Come out for that group. Come out from a place where there is truth. Like a place, church where they preach holiness and righteousness. Somebody will tell you to be out of, the, of that place and you will move out. Do you know who you are? You have allowed Satan to deceive you. You don't know where you are. You are not a born again. If you are really born again Christian, you will know that you tell the brother or the sister, I am very sorry that thing you are saying, it will not work. I have come to fall in love with the truth. I cannot, I, I cannot go anywhere anymore. Do you understand that? Just as I am now, yes. somebody will not tell me Aloysius is not Aloysius, not a Aloysius who God has been using as a father to me. Now somebody will not tell me now, I should not listen to him again. That person, I will know that demon have entered that person. Do you understand that? Demon have entered that person yes. to destroy my soul. I will, that person is my enemy. If I even see you in the dream, if I wake up, I must make sure that I do fasting and prayer to pray for you. Because Satan wants to use you to destroy, to destroy my life. I will give you gap. Because that is the truth. Satan is working hard day and night to make sure that every, every Christian go to hell. But if you are not careful, especially you people, Especially you people that are saying right now, you have father, you have pastor, you have prophet, you have a dicky, you have this, you have been there. If you are not careful, you will have a reproper mind. A reproper mind, those things you have, you, you are not bringing yourself like this. You are not saying, I've arrived. I've arrived that you can, you can stand. Brothers, that somebody with you can the reason why you see the church today having trouble because we are having false teachers all over the world, the ever learning people, people that don't want to learn, deceiver, talkative Christians, Christians that have not yet disciplined themselves, Christians that have not yet know what is all about born again, Christians that have not yet know what is all about the vision of heaven, Christians that have not yet taste what is heaven, they may have revelation. They may have dreams. Do you know that Satan can give you wonderful dreams? Do you know that? Do you know that? Yes. Satan can give yes. you a sweet dream. 
You because Satan you know that yes, you believe this more than any other thing. You don't have the spirit of God. That is the truth. But if you are not careful, you will be swept away. Or somebody tell you right now that uh, now you uh, wearing trousers is not a sin. And now the person will tell you, don't worry, makeup is not a sin. You that be you that know you have heard the truth before, and you now follow that person. I tell you, brothers and sisters, go not, don't believe them. Don't believe them. All these are receivers that are in the world. They want to make sure that uh, they want to frustrate you. They want to make sure they push you out of the program of God. But do not take it from them. Stand still in where you are. You are not a prostitute that will go and meet this one today, tomorrow this one, next tomorrow that one. Are you a prostitute? No. But if you are so, if you are a Christian, you move here, you go here, you go here, you go here, you go here, you are worse than those prostitutes that are in the in, in, outside there. There is a need of for you to be stable in one place. Do not let anybody to deceive you. Let your eyes be open to the truth. Read your Bible to know what is written in the Bible. Your Bible is true. The Bible has the final message. The Bible is the truth. Friends, and my great people this morning, the Lord is telling us that if they say unto you, Lo, here is Christ, or there, believe it not. Believe them not. Be in one place like the apostles of old. Coming together as apostles of old. You have your time, go and study your Bible. You have your time, go to YouTube and listen to the message that we have preached for a long ago. Message that will help you. Mind the way you go these days. It is a something that will help you. Now you see, Jesus Christ emphasized, making them to understand that there will be false, there will be false prophet, prophets, uh, false prophet will arise. If you look at it, it repeated three times in where we read in the book of Matthew chapter twenty-four, verse four. He said, "Now nah. is and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. Mark the word." Take it that no man will deceive you. Don't even in the be the person tell you have fire. Take it that that person, Satan will not use that person to deceive you. That the person that God is using to tell you the truth, Satan, the person, Satan can use that person, will make you to kick against that person, you will, you will hate that person. You, that person did not do anything evil. But because of that person have poisoned your mind, you will hate that person without no reason. The person will just tell you now, right now, ah, this sister, ah, oh, it's too much. This sister, ah, oh, it's too much. Or put that is not true. Or somebody will just tell you right now, ah, but let me see, us is too much. He want to tell us he know it all. A person that God has been using to save you, and now the person will not poison your mind to for you to see for you to see him or her, it more better than but me that is God is using to bless you. Such a person is a one of the antichrist, is one of the false prophets that Christ is talking about. That there is a need for you to run for that person so that you will not get injury. Enough is enough for the time we are. If you look at the verse 5 again, in verse 5, it says, For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall what? Shall deceive many. But do not be among the many that they, they are going to deceive. Praise the Lord. He said, many shall come in my name. They shall deceive many. Many pastors. Many sisters will rise up. We tell you right now they are pastors. All over Facebook, social media, you can see what is happening today. Confusion everywhere. Why? are the result of lack of war, lack of the truth. Lack of the truth. God has moved me this period to take time to begin to teach people that really want to know the truth. People that want to know the truth to gather them, even though it's two hours, one hour, to teach them what is all about Christianity. And I'm ready to do it until I die. You want to know about heaven? I will sit down, take my time to make sure we take half a serious time to look into the scripture, to set the scripture. Whether the scripture is true or not. Why many of you are be carried away 
that every wind of doctrine is blowing you because of the lack you have you lack of understanding what is all about new creature if you understand what is all about a new creature you will know that a new creature is a somebody who is born again the reason why some of you have not some of you are going like this having the wind of doctrine is still carrying you because you have not you claim you are born again but you don't know what is all about born again what you mean there are things you need to know in the bible by the grace of god this evening by 5:30 dot 5:30 dot be on the zoom Every Wednesday, I said before, we are going to be taking a different class of understanding how any, if you want to go to evangelism. Why many of you go to, go to evangelism and face trouble? Because you don't know what is all about evangelism. And I now I have another program called People Who Are Born and Gay. They really want to know what is all about born and gay. Many of you don't know the stand of, of born and gay. But we need to go back and have a serious teaching. When we have this serious teaching, and this teaching will help you. When that's, when, even when somebody is telling you right now, come out, you would say, no, I have come to know what is up on a day. Go and tell the apostles of old. The apostles of old who gave their life to Christ, and these people, they, they, there was no confusion. There was no confusion in, the Christ, in, in, in that time. All of them was with one heart. Why? Because... Jesus Christ took three and a half years to teach these people what is all about Christianity. But today, when somebody just gives him, give him a life to Christ, hey, I'm not born again, I'm not born again. As a born again, you don't want to learn anything. As a born again, the person don't want to know anything. The person will just tell you right now, I can, I can walk, I can preach because the person can read Bible. But the person lack of the knowledge of God. A pastor be in church now is more bored because God is now using the person. The person will just rise up now. If the pastor talk to the person, the person will say, Don't you know I have the fire more than you? That is the doctrine that is now in the church today. Friends, it's a time for us to know what the time the time we are in the world. It's a time for us to walk to return back. Look at verse 11 again. In, in Matthew chapter 24, verse 11. He said, For many false prophets shall rise and shall deceive many, man the world again. For many false prophets shall rise, many false Christians shall arise, many false Christians shall arise to try to deceive us. But the Bible is saying, No, they will tell you there, they will tell you here, say, Believe them not. This is the word of God because when Christ was about to go, Christ knows what is going to happen in the world. That is what is happening today. That is what is happening today. Why many of you have not able to understand is because the word of God have not yet root your heart. You have not yet conquered by the word of God. If you are conquered by the word of God, you will remain in where you are hearing the truth day and night. When somebody tell you things you don't understand, you will call me brother. Please, son, this person say this. Is it true? You listen to the person that is leading you. You want to be on this group, you tell me you are the one leading me. No. There is no two master in the boat. I am the master that God is using on this program. And all of you are what? Are the followers of Christ. As the followers of Christ, do not let anybody to what? To deceive you. That is the truth. As the, as the day, as the last day, as the last day draw near, draw close. False teachers, and prophets and false preachers, they will come out and they begin to deceive. Many false believers we accept we accept their 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 doctrine. Today, that is what is happening in the world. My brothers and sisters, the Bible is true that the word of God today has made us to see that there is a need for us not to what not to follow them. The true church of today must understand what Christ is saying to the church. We must understand what Christ is saying to the church of today. In, let's read in 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. 1 Timothy chapter 4 verse 1. 1 Timothy chapter 4 from verse 1.
Are we there? Now, the spirit, go ahead if you are there. The spirit, now, the spirit speaker expertly that in the last time, in the last times, some, some shall war, shall depart from their faith. Am I right? Sure. Eh? Yes, Giving hand yes. to what to seduce spirit and doctrine of what of the deep of the devil. The doctrine of the devil today. Many people are now what are setting the doctrine of the devil. The doctrine of the devil, it, it doesn't matter what you are wearing. That is the doctrine of the devil. It doesn't matter whether you are a woman or you wear those things, all those things that your breast is falling in the church, it doesn't matter. That is the doctrine of the devil. Now, the doctrine of the devil, many of you are not accepting the doctrine of the devil. That they will tell you, no, don't follow them, go to this place. That is the doctrine of the devil. But none of any member of this group should accept such doctrine. Let's read in 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 8. 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 8. Are we there? Yes, sir. Go, go ahead, you are there. Now, as James and Jabez withstood Moses, so do they, so do these also resist the truth. Men of corrupt mind, reprobate concerning the faith. Are you seeing that? As these people, as these people were rebel, they withstood Moses. So do those also resisting the truth. These people, they rebel against the word of Moses. The same way today in the churches, in the, in the Christendom, in such group, group like our, ours, uh, uh, the, uh, our group now, there are some people here, they tell you that they, this truth you are preaching, we are not interested to hear this word. We are interested, Lord, take away this sickness. We are not interested to abide on the truth. Look at this, a man of what? Of corrupt mind. That is the word. Men of corrupt mind. That we are having our plan. They will tell us that they, they, this plan you people are carrying, they are just, this plan is for you people. We have our own plan. We are not with you people on this program. We are talking of how we can carry the gospel to reach out the whole world. They will tell you, no, we are not with you people. Men of corrupt mind. Those are, the, those are the people that claim they are with us, but they are not with us. They aspire. They are working against what we believe. Instead of them to work, to join hands together and to build the church to make sure the gospel reach out to the world, they, they say, no, we are not with you people. Men of corrupt mind. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, 3 to 4. In 2 Timothy Continue. Chapter 4, 3 to 4. Are we there? Yes. Go ahead if you are there, please. For the time, for the time we come, is this when they, go ahead, sister, please. For the time we come, when they sh we know and your sad doctrine, but after their own loss, shall they heap to themselves. See, shall have been itching ear. Yes. And they shall turn, their, and shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fathers. That is the word. We read Second Timothy chapter 4, 3 and 4. It said, For the time we come, when they will not endure some doctrine today, that is the time we are. But what? But after they are all lost, shall they heap to their selves. Teachers having itching ears, itching ears. Many people today, many pastors having itching ears. If you are telling them the truth, they tell you you are judging them. Somebody that has the opportunity to learn, the person is ever learning, they don't want to learn. What you want to do now, you want to be a general overseer. Everybody wants to become a general overseer. We want to be having churches everywhere, churches everywhere. Yes. People want to open churches everywhere. Women want to open church. Men want to open church. Ever learning people, people that have itching ear. People that people of corruptible mind. 
That is the people we are seeing today. That is the people that, are, that want to go to heaven. But such people can go to heaven. Do you understand that? Such people can go to heaven. A rebellious person can go to heaven. Do you know that? Do you know that? A disobedient child cannot go to heaven. As long as heaven rule, heaven give men command. There is authority. There is a higher authority. There is a lower authority. That I give instruction. You say, no, you will not obey this instruction. You have your own instruction. You are going to obey. You are a rebellious child. I show you that. He said, and they shall walk, turn away their ear from the truth. I don't know people here. They turn away from their truth that they are hearing on this program. They say they have another pastor they, they, they respect more than the person God is using to talk to you. Such people, what, are they, what, what happened to them? They have turned away their ear from the truth. Please, permit me, I will take your time this morning. And it shall, what, shall be turned into fibro. Those people, they turn away their ear from the truth. They don't want to hear the truth. What they want to have now, they want to have pastor. Yesterday, a brother was telling me, I know a sister, one of her sisters. He says, sir, I went to a church. And the church, if they close, he begin to, she begins to see pastors giving a value to all the workers in the church. All the workers, every Sunday, they begin to share a value to them. And he now asked, she now asked the pastor, why is it that every, every Sunday now you give envelope to these workers? You don't give me. He said, no, these people, they are workers. I said, that church is not church. Do you understand that? That is not church. It's a business area. Whoever, after church, I give, you my, I give you your share, I give you your share, I give you your share because they know what they are doing. Why did they not give the money to the poor in the church, to the widows, that now is not workers they are sharing the money to? Do you see it now? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters, those are the churches we are seeing today. Let's read in Matthew chapter 7, verse 22. In Matthew 7, 22. Matthew 7, 22. Matthew 7, 22. And there Who, who is there? Me. Go ahead, go ahead. My sister, who was 22, many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name have cast out devils, and he have done many wonder, wonder work. Yes, that is it. Many shall come, eh? Do you know that? If you want to rebel against God, God can even use you to do the miracle. Do you understand that now? Eh? He can use you to do the miracle. He can use you to heal the sick. He can use you to raise the dead. But that one does not qualify. You are going to heaven. He said, for many shall say unto me that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied? I don't know people here, they say that they have a spirit of prophecy. Yes, you have prophecy. Does it mean that you will not obey the person who God is using? Wonderful. That you will prophesy, but you will, lo you will lose heaven. Why? Because of the spirit of rebellion have entered such a person. He said, in the name, he said, and in the name, have we cast, I will not cast out devils, and in the name, done many wonders, Walk wonderful walk. Look at it in verse 23. He said, And then will I profound unto them. I know I never know you. Depart from me, ye that walk iniquity. Mark the word. Ye that walk iniquity. I know you not. It will be like that on that day. Friends, this morning the Lord is telling us there is a need. Of returning back home. A need to know where we are. Because of the time we look at this uh, two, we look at this uh, two verse and we pray. Let's read in Galatians chapter 1, verse 9. In Galatians chapter 1, verse 9. Let's see what is happening there. 
There is a need for you to know the Bible. The problem we are having, many of us are no longer reading Bible. You are no longer reading Bible. You believe on that pastor more than anything. What he's saying, whether it is true or not, you believe on that pastor more than anything. In Galatians chapter 1, verse 9. Are we there? Sister Promise, go ahead. As we said before, don't say I now again. If any man preach any other gospel unto you that that ye have received, let him be accused. That is it. As we said before, now again, I repeat again. If any man, if any man preach any other gospel unto you than that than than that ye have received, let him be a cause, just as you are hearing today. Somebody will begin to preach any other gospel to you. Do not take that gospel. Do not take that gospel from that person because that person does not have the truth. They want to deceive you with miracle. Miracle, you are living in sin. You have miracle, wonderful miracle. The greatest miracle you need that you repent for your sin. Your repentance will catapult you to miracle. Abraham, nobody tell Abraham about miracle. It's just obedient of Abraham, catapult Abraham to, to miracle. Make Abraham to become the father of nation. If I obey God on this earth, as God has said to me, indeed shall the nation of the earth be blessed. If I obey, follow him bomba to bomba, that the word of God did not come to pass as God promised Abraham after 25 years that you are going to have a son, that indeed you are going to have a son, and after 25 years, God brings him to pass. If I obey God, I wish Abraham did not obey God. Do you know that that 25 years, that blessing will not come? Do you know that? Yes. Eh? I wish Abraham deviate away from God. Abraham could have not receive the blessing of God after 25 years. You need to have the understanding of the Bible. Now, see, read, read me 2 Peter chapter 2. 2 Peter chapter 2. Uh, 2 Peter chapter 3. Sorry, chapter 3, 4 to 3. Uh, 3 to 4. 2 Peter, let's read here to see the final conclusion over there. 2 Peter chapter 3. Chapter 3? Yes. Okay. From 3 to 4. Yes. Knowing this verse, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust, and saying, where is the promise of his coming? For since the father fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. That is it. I close my Bible here. Knowing this, that those shall come in the last day. Last day, strength things. Strength things will begin to come as it is today. Brothers and sisters, remember the topic. If they say to you, there, believe them not. If they say it's in that place, it's in that group, believe them not. If really that you have had a great conviction that this place is a place of God. Somebody begin to tell you, go and listen to this one, listen to this one. Take your time to read your Bible. Tell the person, this is what evangelist Bartholomew said. I walk as the Spirit of God is leading me. I tell you what the Spirit of God is telling me to tell you. I lie not. I tell you that there is a need. Knowing the truth and the truth will set you free. Now as you are hearing the truth, you will take time to read your Bible. Read your Bible that no man will deceive you. Every day by day somebody is calling you 24 hours. You are in prayer 24 hours. You are doing this. You are listening to pastor. Pastor begin to say receive 20,000 alert. What about if you receive the 20,000 alert now? The next minute, 20 percent. Eh? You receive the alert now. Yes, wonderful. You receive it now. The trumpet sound and what happened when you miss heaven. Can you face Antichrist? Can you face tribulation? Seven years that if you don't have the mark of the beast, you will not buy and sell. Can you face it? When you are not prepared, can you face it? Brothers and sisters, if you allow anybody to jeopardize with your soul, you will regret your life. Open your mouth now and talk to God. God has given you the information you need to know. Will you still allow somebody to deceive you? If somebody that don't have the truth, you want to allow the person to deceive you. Open your mouth and talk to God this morning. You have heard it. 
Take the word and make use of the word. Live by the word. Live by the message you are hearing. Don't allow anybody to begin to carry you up and down. No. Enough is enough. The time of inglory has passed away. Tell the Lord, I am ready to obey. Lord, I have my eyes have opened to the truth. I will not. You don't need too much of pastors. You need the word, the truth, and the Bible. That is the only thing you need. It's only somebody that will guide you. You don't need too much of pastors. This is what I said. Talk to God this morning. You have had the word on Facebook, on you, on you, on Zoom, where you have connected on phones, you have had the word. In London, in America, in Asia, in Europe, all over the world, you have had the word this morning. Africa, begin to talk to God because the gospel is true. Nobody can jump and dash this gospel in this time. As long as I'm alive, God has made us to be out to speak the truth that the people who have been deceived, that they may return back to the world. That they may return back home. They have deviated away from home. Heavenly Father, we want to thank you this morning for your glorious hour like this. You have given us the time like this to know the truth. To know that there are many doctrines today, doctrines of the demons, that are in the world that people are now bringing out. Deceiving the world, Father, help me. I have made up my mind that no man or woman will be able to deceive me. Holy Spirit, I pray for all your children on this program this morning that you will have pity on them. Where your children, O oh Lord, my Father, have rebelled against you before, where they have deviated away from the truth, where they have given themselves to the doctrine of the demon, Father, pity your children. Those that are looking for up and down, looking for pastor, they don't have time to read their whole Bible and to meditate. Father, as to today, I pray, Father, you will help them. That anybody would have want to take them away from your program. Father, in glory, you will separate such person away from them. Holy Ghost, help them. Help all these people. That none of them, my Father, will be deceived. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Father. Lord, I pray that I will not be a castaway after preaching this gospel. Help us, Father, to continue this journey. That at the end, glory and honor be unto you, Father. For in Jesus' name, we have praise. In Jesus' name, we have praise. Because of the time, we end this program. If you have your time, you can continue your prayer. You can continue, pray, and say, Lord, Take away all those that Satan has prepared to deceive me. Lord, let there be demarcation there. Father, let me hate those people. Let those people don't know my number to God. Let them not see me. Brother, Satan is working so hard to pull you and I, to carry your head and carry my head to jam it together. For us, for us to become enemy to each other. For you to begin to see me as evil. They may even, he may even do it. Then he may be using person face. Somebody that God is using to tell you the truth. If they may use that person face to be against you in the dream. If you don't have the understanding, you will wake up and say that person is the one. Or feel that that is, that is not the person. Why? Satan knows that some person has believed dream more than any other thing. But if somebody that has the knowledge of God will say, Satan, I know your truth, you have come. Heavenly Father, I pray for your children this morning that this hour you will help us more and more to know your will to follow you. That the wind of the daughtry of today that is blowing, Father, will not sweep us away. Help all of us, Lord, to continue this journey. Help me, Father, that I will not be a rebellion to my pastor, neither to bring this grace to you or to any members of this group. Father, any man or woman the devil want to use to cause obstacle to us. Father, that is a, a time have come. Father, for you to take that person out of this group if the person refuses to repent. Lord, the hour have come. Lord, you will throw that person out of us. Lord, the person will not know any members of this group. Lord, remember on that time, yeah, when he was about to go, you said, Father, I leave them into the world. Lord, keep them in the hollow of your hair. May there be one Lord, as we, as I am with you, Lord, I pray that you will keep us the, in the spirit of oneness. That good Monsieur Family Foundation will be one. 
There will be no division on this group. There will be no rebellious spirit in this group. Father, all of us will open ourselves, Father, to carry this gospel to another level. Thank you for your children. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, precious Father, for what you have decided to be using us to do. I pray for as many those that are sharing the message day and night. Father, your blessing will follow them on Facebook, on YouTube, all over the world. Because as they continue to share the message, truth begin to rob the world. Father, I pray. Those that have made their Facebook available, made their YouTube available, made their WhatsApp available to share the truth to other people. Even when people are sending the message, don't send me this message. They continue to do the work. Father, I pray that all their labors, Father, in glory, you will reward them according to their labor. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, Lord. For you alone is worthy to be prayed. For in Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Please, I forgot that uh, um, I have a uh, other meeting here in today in the in France, and um, the meeting of this evening is not going to be five thirty. It's going to be five o'clock. Uh, uh, no, it's going to be six o'clock. Yes, yeah, six o'clock to seven o'clock because I have a uh, other program here to attend in France today, and because of that, we put that uh, program by by six o'clock from six o'clock to seven o'clock seven o'clock we have a uh, other program in the church by 7 p.m we take one hour please come on time if you want to be on that program so that you can able to benefit on that program praise the lord listen i'm sorry i take your 20 minutes uh, 22 minutes this morning please forgive me i need to because of the message please the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the sweet fellowship on the Holy Spirit. Bless and buy with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely may his goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our life. And we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Our life is seated in Christ Jesus. Jesus is in God the Father. Therefore, our Going out are coming in as be safe and secure in the name of Jesus Christ. In Amen. the book of Galatians chapter, in the book of uh, Micah chapter 7 verse 7. Wherefore I will look unto the Lord. I will wait for the God of my salvation. My God will hear me. Rejoice not against me, O my enemy. When I fall, I shall rise. When I sit in darkness, the Lord shall be a light unto me. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the book of Galatians, chapter 6, verse 17. For henceforth, let no man trouble us, for we bear in our body the mark of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray that no man or woman will be able to trouble you in Jesus' name. God bless all of you and have a blessed and wonderful day. God bless you.